A brand new theater is now open in Boston Seaport, and it's not the only new theater in the city. So are movie theaters making a post-COVID comeback? WBZ's Laura Hayfley finds out. A movie theater is a nostalgic place with fond memories of films past, nearly becoming a thing of the past, too. You could not watch movies. You couldn't go anywhere. Entertainment was not high on people's list. During the pandemic, families stuck inside turned to streaming services, watching new films for less money and in the comfort of their own home. But some theaters were able to hang on, using a new business model to bring in movie lovers once again. You have a kitchen at home. Why go out to a restaurant? And the answer is it's a very different experience. Two new theaters have opened in Boston, Arclight Cinema in the West End and the Austin-based Alamo Draft House in the Seaport. I grew up in Austin. As I'm walking and I see Alamo Draft House, I was like, no way, this is here. Neighbors say it's the lounge chairs and heated seats that get them excited, but that's not all. Alex Shebar is the marketing manager for Alamo Draft House. We do food and drinks right at your seat, so you don't have to get up. You can do bowls of popcorn, you can do burger. So it's that unique experience, the heated seats, the lounge chairs, the table side service, that experts say has allowed places like the Alamo Draft House to survive the last few years when other theaters couldn't. It's really great to see new venues of those kinds opening up and, you know, new jobs being created for people who lost their jobs three years ago. Peter Ireland is a professor of economics at Boston College. What do big box theaters do to those independent, more privately owned smaller theaters? As with any story, there are costs and there are benefits. There are still many local, smaller theaters. The Brattle Theater is still there, the Coolidge Corner. There'll always be room for the local movie theater, I think. In Boston, Laura Haefeli, WBZ News. All right, so <laughs> we all have very strong feelings about this. I love going to the movies love, still. My love, whole love, family, love. I think, is keeping the movie industry in business. Seriously. But some of these, the one at Chestnut Hill, they give you a blanket, they get your food, you get a drink. Right? I mean, you almost don't have to get up. <laughs> now, Eric doesn't like you it so much. feel a little differently. I, I like the big seats. I like that you can yeah. reserve your yeah. seat. You know where you're going. You don't have to, like, rush, think about, okay, am I going to get in the right spot? Right. But... I like being able to get a beverage, maybe. I don't want to be, like, in a big food hall while I'm watching a movie. <laughs> the sound. The sa yeah, I just want to focus on the movie. I feel like there's some distraction going on there. All right. So we all have our preferences, right? Exactly. I'm still going to go to the movies. All right. <laughs>